Dr. Conley, how is metastatic breast cancer diagnosed? So metastatic breast cancer is diagnosed oftentimes after a patient complains of a symptom and goes to see their physician and that symptom is being investigated. So breast cancer that is metastatic can be diagnosed in a number of different ways depending on where the breast cancer is located. So for example, if somebody is complaining of a pain in their bone, which is not going away, which is getting worse over time, and is not explained by anything particular, their doctor may perform an x-ray, for example, which then may show up an abnormality or a fracture even, and that will prompt additional tests. And the tests that we usually do to diagnose metastatic or stage four breast cancer include CT scans, and those scans usually cover the chest and the abdomen and the pelvis. We also like to do hand in hand with a CT scan, a bone scan. And the bone scan is looking more specifically at the bone. And breast cancer can commonly actually travel to the bone in the case of stage four breast cancer. Another type of imaging that is used is a PET scan. And a PET scan will encompass both the bones and the rest of the body. And really each provider will determine what is best for that particular case. And once we are concerned that we may be in a situation of metastatic breast cancer, we arrange a tissue biopsy. And that may be of any location um, that seems to be affected by the cancer. This could be a breast biopsy, it could be a lymph node biopsy, it could be a liver biopsy. Um, we oftentimes will also check some lab values for patients to check, are they anemic? Um, are their kidneys working well? Is their liver working well? And we may also check what we call tumor markers, which give an indication of the activity of the breast cancer in the system.